Okay, so welcome to the first episode of Minimalist Android Setups. If you're new here, my name is Kagan, and in this series of videos, I'll be sharing with you minimalist Android setups that I personally use on my phones and I like. Please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications if you'd like to be notified every single time I post a new setup video. So this week, I'd like to start up with a setup that I like to call my essential setup. Ironic because I actually use this setup on my essential phone. This is basically a setup that only consists of your essential applications. So you can have only one home screen or you can have as many as three, depending on what you need. Now, personally, I have three home screens, but I only use two, but I'm going to get back to that in a moment. For this setup, you only need four items to make it work. Nova Launcher, Super Wizard Pro, MNML UI, and the Flight Light Icon Pack. Now, I should point out that the Super Widget Pro application has been removed from the Play Store since early 2019, probably because of new standards and the developer wasn't responding to support tickets and stuff like that. So understand that you will have to download the Super Widget Pro from a third party website, but for the most part, the application is stable in Android 7 all the way up to Android 10, which is what I'm using for this video. Okay, so after installing all four applications, all you're going to need to do is set Nova Launcher as your default launcher and get a six by five grid on your desktop. Next, you install the flight light icon pack and you get rid of all the items in the dock. You would also need to get rid of the page indicator as well as the hub drawer indicator. And the reason why you do all this is basically to make your home screen as clean as possible so you have nothing interfering with the clean look of this minimalist setup. As a matter of fact, if you can switch from the three button navigation system to a two button navigation system or the gesture based system, even better. So after that, the next thing that you do is basically introduce four applications to the home screen that are basically your day to day. Now for me, this is basically the phone application, the text messages application, and currently the music and the camera applications, but that could change for you. So if it's WhatsApp you like to use the most, you could replace the music application with WhatsApp and yada, yada, yada. Then you create a secondary home screen where you pinch in three applications per row for nine applications on the entire screen. So in my case, I basically had Amazon, eBay, Chrome, WhatsApp, the calculator, the photos app, my contacts and my settings, and also the YouTube app. The idea behind this is to have nine extra applications outside the four applications that you use the most so that you can quickly interchange them if your use case changes. Now, the widget on the screen is basically from the minimal UI application add-on to Super Widget Pro. So you drag in the Super Widget Pro 4x4 grid or you resize it however you want and you go into the minimal UI section and you pick whichever one you want pretty much. Now there's a little over 100 so I'm not sure what number this particular one I'm using is but when you do open the application you will see it there as one of the options. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to have links in the description to every single application I have recommended. They are all free, pretty much. You can download them right now for free. And the icon pack is also free as well. So you can probably expect that some applications might not have icons in this icon pack. For next week's video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this really nice minimalist setup on my Pixel 2 XL. So make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you want to be notified when that video drops. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you on another video that was shot by Kagan next week.